meron ho ba kayong magiging specific marching orders the people you will appoint to these agencies with regard to yon allegations of corruption well there, there's no place for <laughs> there should not be any place for 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 corruption unfortunately uh, naging in, in some areas naging endemic na talaga yung ano eh, yung corruption you will have to really dig deep uh, i hope we do not have to do what um, then Prime Minister Mahathir did, where he said, sige, mag-1530 lang kayo, kasi may tenure sila. Mag-1530 lang lang kayo, huwag kayong papasok, pagtangko kayo lahat. Uh, I hope we don't have to go that far, but I'm willing to. Uh, this is too important. Otherwise, it, ju it just doesn't work. Uh, corruption, the... Okay, kalimutan na lang natin yung nakaraan. Uh, the, let's just, huwag natin sasabihin natin, oh, sige, it was not under my watch, hindi akong... Hindi ako namamahala nun. Ngayon ako na namamahala. So wala nang ganyan. At kang meron pang ganyan, eh, habul-habulin talaga namin kayo. At uh, hindi po pwede yan. Because we will not succeed. The government, the economy in the Philippines will simply not succeed if we cannot collect uh, duties, tariffs, etc. Uh, through the Bureau of Customs. And we do not have good collection on... Uh, on uh, taxes, uh, both at the national and at the local level. Hindi talaga ubra. We cannot. The numbers don't. <laughs> the numbers don't uh, don't match. So that's why it's, it will be very. It is very very important, and we will, uh, we, we we have to, at the very least, reduce the corrosive influence of corruption in government. As a general rule.